Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook frozen gyoza perfectly. Homemade gyoza is not that difficult, but it's time consuming and you sometimes want to cheat and use frozen gyoza. So today, I'm going to show you how to perfectly cook frozen gyoza. Nice and crispy at the bottom, and no need to worry about the filling remain uncooked. At the end of the video, I will show you how I view a menu with this gyoza, so stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. Let's put some vegetable oil in the frying pan. The heat is off. About two tablespoons. Using fresh gyoza, spread the oil. And place gyoza nicely. With the flat side facing down. and put some water, about one third of the gyoza. Cover with the lid. Turn the heat on and just bring it to boil over medium high heat. Once it comes to boil, turn the heat to medium and keep cooking for five minutes. Cooked for 5 minutes. Take the lid off and keep cooking until there is almost no water left. When the water is all gone, add 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. This is to pan fry the bottom so that it's nice and crispy. And cook for 2 to 3 minutes. And if your gyoza is not sliding like this, put spatula between gyoza and frying pan and make sure it's not sticking. Put the plate upside down and flip it over. Please be careful not to burn yourself with hot oil. for the tasting. You can make the dipping sauce as complicated as you like, but I like to make it simple. So it's mixture of soy sauce and vinegar, one to one, and a little bit of chili oil. Itadakimasu. crispy, almost crunchy on the outside, and the filling is so juicy and bouncy. Perfectly cooked. This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one or two side dishes. Gyoza is the main, so let's put it here. 
You're using frozen gyoza, maybe because you're too tired or you don't have time to cook. So let's make the whole meal quick and easy. One portion rice pack here and instant miso soup here. Super easy onion salad for one of the side dishes and some sort of pickles either off the shelf or homemade for the other one. I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye.